Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, as promised, today we are still on offer up and we're still in the Fort Lauderdale area. We're going to be searching a 30 mile radius um, today, but instead of searching for cars, we're going to be searching for motorcycles between uh, 200 and 1000 dollars. All right, so here we go. We're going to call this Motorcycle Monday. All right, so let's jump right into this and see what's out there all right we're going to I, you know we're going to be seeing a lot of uh scooters because you know that's the price range that you know uh scooters primarily are in um but you know sometimes you see some nice machines you know and uh that's what we're hoping okay hold on a second all right here we have something here what's this <clears throat> oh it's a mini bike chopper honda predator oh my goodness they have one of these honda predator uh engines uh these are the utility engines that you can hook up to with a pump or you know to a generator or something and that's what they have running this little bike here <laughs> uh let's just look at the big picture yeah it looks nice and clean nice and tidy you know somebody's little project you know shoot it's got it's got that disc brake at the front. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it's got a nice little setup here. Chain drive, you know. Interesting. It's probably... Let me see what's going on here. Uh, let's zoom in here. Let me see. Um, oh, it's probably running a little CVT uh, setup here, I suppose, you know. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's continue. Yeah, so sometimes you know you see some interesting, some interesting machines for this in this price range. Uh, what we have here, two thousand eight Honda Shadow seven fifty Aero. All right, let's look at the big picture. Let's see what we're looking at. What do we get for that? Um, v twin air cooled. All right. See, this is uh, you know one of those uh, conventional type of motorcycles. Very comfortable. These things will be very, very comfortable. Uh, looks like we got some tank damage there, but no problem. Let's let's look at uh, what the description says. Currently not running. Not surprised. Uh, our best of trades. Welcome. Two thousand eight hundred shadow. I have the title and the frame is clean. Wheels and accessory have some small surface rust. Sat for a while and doesn't turn over. Tank was bad, so I bought one from a two thousand seven shadow. However, it's not correct and doesn't fit well, but comes with the bike. You know, blah 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 blah. But yeah, this is not bad. This is the type of motorcycle that I would be looking for in the sub one uh, thousand um, uh, bracket. You know, something that a lot of these bikes that they, you're gonna get, they're not gonna be running. You know, let's get that clear. Um, they've sat for a while or whatever the case may be, and usually it's a carburetor issue. That's the number one thing. People park the bikes, and you know they're not winterized, um, <clears throat> so they end up. You know, the carburetor uh, gets corroded. And before you know it, uh, it doesn't, you know, they don't run. Okay. But anyway, moving on. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay. This looks interesting. Let's see what this is. Oh. Uh, fairing only. BMW R100 RT. Okay. They're just selling the fairing. All right. Moving on. It's a little scooter there. Um, you're gonna see, again, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot of scooters, you know, which I'm, I'm not. I'm not particularly interested in right now. Let's see what's going on with this one. 1996 uh, Kawasaki Vulcan. Okay, let's look at a big picture. Now, <clears throat> these motorcycles, you know, all these motorcycles from this um, this type will be very comfortable. My only problem with most of them is that, you know, they've got drum brakes at the back or whatever. But we are talking about Japanese machinery. So, you know, they will be relatively, um, relatively uh, trouble free, you know. In the grand scheme of things, all right. So for seven fifty, let's look at what what the description says. Been sitting, carbs rebuilt before parking knees, battery and tail seat. Okay, all right, fair enough. Seven fifty, you know, by all means, you know, I mean, it's hey, it, it will need some work, but that's the fun about motorcycles, guys. You know, you know, buy a motorcycle and you know you expect to do work on it. You know, that's just how it is. You know, all right. Uh, let's see. This is a kick off fifty one fifty mini bike. What the heck is this? All right, let's look at the big picture. Oh, they're oh, they're building a cafe racer type of thing. What the heck? Man. This is crazy. Man, I, what? Man, 
this is this is beyond me but anyway let's look at what the description says very unique very rare barn find this bike can be street legal there is no type no title that's not uh, guys i don't mess around a lot of these motorcycles you will find when you start looking around <coughs> is um they have no title and i'm not playing i'm not messing around with, with no vehicle that don't have no title none whatsoever so i just call it a day with that all right moving on scrolling scroll okay here the, the, hey you know these little grom type uh motorcycles are getting very popular but this is actually let's look at a big picture this is actually a scooter yes you know it looks like a grom but it's actually as you can see you know it's got the uh cvt setup uh right here it's a standard honda type cvt arrangement um so yeah so a lot of these um <coughs> chinese manufacturers you know coming out with their um gram type look scooters um you know, gram is an interesting motorcycle but i'm not fixated on it you know so it's not something i would gravitate towards but anyway uh let's look at this here moto 600 dollars what, what is this let's uh, let's look at a big picture and see <clears throat> okay i see an air cooled engine i see it maybe it's a four cylinder oh look at this hello oh wow look at this this is not this is wow now if this is a real what is this how would it it's a yamaha oh it's a maxim okay here we go it's a maxim okay that's what i thought that's what I, this this is nice guys this is if this is actually six hundred dollars what wow this could be a very very good buy you know it, it's pro at six hundred dollars it's going going to need some work but that's fine all right let's see description <clears throat> Vendo esta Yamaha 750-1985. Ay, pasarle la mano. Le falta el cable del cloche. Ay, limpiarle los cables. En mano necesito el espacio. Mi perdida cero. Okay, I don't understand much of this, but it's a uh, Yamaha 750cc. It's a 1985. He uh, replaced the uh, clutch cable and the car cleaned the carburetor, and he's got the title in hand. That's great. Okay. Um, whatever problems up. Six hundred dollars. Hey, look. I mean, I would work with that. Definitely, I would work with that one. I'm a Yamaha fan. I've had two of them. Um, excellent machines. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Nineteen ninety six Yamaha Royal Star thirteen hundred. Let's look at a big picture. This is a massive machine. Right away, I'm seeing V-twin, uh, air cooled. Um, okay, it's, uh, it's got shaft drive, as we can see back here. It's got shaft drive. I do see some electrical work that was going on there. So I'm thinking that the the um, the ignition system is messed up. Yeah, this has some extended work that needs to be done. Yeah, but hey, I mean, look, motorcycles are all about bonding with the machine, you know, bonding with the machine. They want nine hundred bucks. All right, let's see what the um what the description says. This nineteen ninety six Yamaha Royal Star thirteen hundred only has nineteen thousand three hundred miles, and I have the clean title in hand. This bike is sold as is, and is a great project bike. I do not have time to finish this project. And that is why I'm selling. Okay, fair, fair enough, fair enough. Nine hundred bucks. Uh, I'm not sure I'd pay nine hundred because you know you can get you know motorcycle out there for nine hundred dollars that are actually moving. But anyway, let's look at this. What 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 do we have here? Um, Yamaha Virago Blue five hundred thirty five cc. I like these machines, these Viregos. Um, but here we go. We have one picture now. One pictures with motorcycles. Don't have the same connotation as one picture with cars. All right. I don't have the same uh, prejudice against them. Uh, but let's look at this big picture. Okay. It doesn't expand much. Um, let's see what's going on here. Description. Not running needs carburetor to be cleaned. My only concern here. Not running. Need carburetor clean. Fine. We replace the carburetor. Um, my only concern is if the title is there. If the title is there. You know. 
might be a good, you know, nice little project, you know, sit around and, you know, relax and, you know, get her done. All right. Well, guys, listen, I'm going to pause right here. You know, thanks for watching. You know, this is uh, Motorcycle Monday. Thanks for joining me on the very first episode of it. And um, join me again um, next week, Monday. We'll do another uh, Motorcycle Monday. And um, don't forget to join me tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll also have another uh, twist to the, the show. All right. So please, if you like what's going on, please uh, like, share, subscribe. You know, let's get this thing done. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.